Layfield reports. CEO John Layfield is here. Tea Party Forward Chairman Niger Innes is here. And from the Daily Caller, we also have Chris Bedford. Um, John, you first on the Trump effect. Is this what it's all about here since the election, or is there more to it? No, it is the Trump effect. Uh, look, you had, you had a lot of worry going into the election that Trump was going to be a, a very much like a Herbert Hoover who was going to have a lot of trade policies uh, like Herbert Hoover put in Smoot Hawley that led to the Depression. It looks like Trump is backing off that rhetoric. And if you look at his other rhetoric, it's very friendly. You have low taxes, uh, low regulation, and also without uh, Miss Clinton in office, you don't have Elizabeth Warren going after the big banks. So you have a lot of favorable headwinds for business right here. Now, how does he pay for this? That's a separate issue. He hasn't uh, defined that yet. Yet. But as far as just business and market, things are looking pretty good right now. Well, I'll get to, uh, Niger to you in a moment. But Chris, uh, on this point that John is making, the, the how do you pay for it component almost, um, if you're going to go out and spend money, say, on infrastructure, which Democrats have talked about, as we know, in the past a lot. But if Mr. Trump is going to push forward with that and have lower taxes, whether you address how to pay for it or not, or not that environment can be good for equities, for stocks. And, uh, you know, I wonder if it lasts, but um, interesting to watch. What do you make of it the last few weeks? Yeah, it's a fantastic time to be invested in energy, which he says he's going to deregulate, to be invested in finance, or, or to have investment in infrastructure, which he says he's going to boon. I mean, people aren't really paying too much attention right, to how, much, how the federal government is going to pay for things, but no. his plan is that the economy is going to boom so well, they're going to do so well, that he's going to get more money, more revenues to the federal government to pay for that. That's what they say. It's supply-side economics. And they're going to get a chance over the next four years. The guys like Stephen Moore, who's on here often from Heritage yeah. Foundation, he's going to get a chance to see if the supply side really works and if they can pay for everything. And if and if it goes well, I expect the stock market to continue to improve. Right, and it's a difference. Sometimes we associate markets with just with stocks. It maybe doesn't necessarily help other uh, types of markets as much, but that is an environment in which stocks can continue to prosper. There's the Dow at 19,001. Uh, Niger Neal talks all the time, though, about this issue of how do we pay for things. And now that it is going to be a Trump administration, you still have to look at that, right? I mean, uh, what do you think of the plan to spend so much money, for example, on infrastructure? Your view on that? Well, I think an uh, infrastructure plan is necessary. What would be ideal is if the private sector, with a partnership with government, but with the private sector uh, believing that America, again, is open for business, uh, decides to engage uh, in infra for infrastructure spending. Look, I think uh, there are obviously infrastructure uh, needs that our country has all over the country, in our yeah. inner cities, in our rural communities, all over the country, all right? And so infrastructure spending is a very, very good thing. But the fact is, we all know this, our government is broke. I mean, we're in debt. We're going to end up, to, we're, we're, we're at 20 trillion in debt. So what would be ideal, and, and what I'm so very, very proud about uh, with, with this Trump boom, and I'm, I'm proud of uh, President-elect Trump, but let me also give a shout out to President Obama, our current president, and even Hillary. You know, they have been extremely responsible. And, and all the folk, all the investors around the world, as well as as the United States realize that uh, in this Trump America, America's open for business again, and uh, hopefully uh, uh, Trump can inspire uh, you, international investors to take a take a risk in America, including in infrastructure spending. Right. Well, so it, of, should, uh, it, it should come from the private sector, where as much as possible. So you have the pro public and private sector out in Chicago.